Alright, what is up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first step first seventh episode of the round table discussion. I'm here with my usual co host Dino. Hello. My occasional co host Anna. What up? And our guest this week from the Event Horizon X, it's Marshall. Hello! Alright, we're gonna start things off with our usual Tanner update well, our occasional Tanner update. Are you ready? I suppose so. Actually you no, know, we did do it last week because Al did it. Oh yeah, okay. Well, get right into it. Alright, Tanner update. So you guys met my roommate last week. That was pretty cool. Um Other than that, what's going on in my life? I just got signed up for a volleyball team. That starts in a couple weeks. Beat your um indoor. Uh, it's sand volleyball indoor. Ah. But sand you get to drink. volleyball indoor. <laughs> yeah. How retarded do, do you want to get? Where do you want to get? Where do you get the facilities for that? <laughs> At a bowling alley. What? A bowling alley. So people yes. are throwing bowling balls at you while you're trying to play volleyball. I, I mean, s- sure. But, you know, you get to drink and play at the same time, so really Only you just kind of forget. Yeah, you, get so to, you like kind of forget team? you're playing volleyball. Is this like a pub team? No, I, it's just like people left in town from college play volleyball. So a pub team? Uh, sure, if you want to <laughs> classify pub, it as a pub team. We'll come watch you play. It's a short bar, short car ride. Is it mixed gender? Yeah, my girlfriend's on it, so. I regret making luck. Is it just you and your girlfriend? No, Al's on it too, and Al's little brother, and then I don't know where we'll find another girls. But my girlfriend played volleyball for like sixteen years of her life, so she's she's good. But so when she was a child. Yeah, and then all the way up through high school, and then she could have played in college, but she decided that she was tired of it. Do you know what you don't know is Tana's girlfriend's actually 54. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Uh, you only managed two minutes, or, or do you have more? No, I. you know, I literally had 30 seconds to think of my points What about uh, uh, of emphasis. So. What about you confirming uh, sixth, sixth place? Yeah, sixth place. Uh, you know that was that was nice uh, to see David Moyes one last time come out of the Goodison Tunnel was sad. You know he was holding back tears. I was holding back tears, and I wish him the best of luck. But maybe I don't know who we're gonna sign. I was a little bit concerned that evidently Phil Neville had a meeting with Bill Kenwright today for an interview for the manager. I thought for sure they were just gonna announce him as manager today, so I was a little bit on edge. But we we'll probably get the Wigan manager. No, no. Yeah, apparently, he wants a Premier League job, and I think he'd fit the bill. I think, I think he would be a good manager, but I don't want him at Everton right away. Not right away. But yeah. this isn't the football section, so I'm done with my update. Hey, we're only got an hour today. We can talk about a little bit of football everywhere. <laughs> All right, yes. so okay, we can we can move on from football. Tanner, what have you actually been playing this week in terms of games? If you've gone around. Oh. Today? I have been, actually I've been editing the second 50 Gold Challenge video, so I've been playing some FIFA. Who's the player? Uh, this week is Philippe Caicedo. Wow. Or a Little Bull, as I like to call him. Can you do one with a goalkeeper? No, unfortunately. Although my, my I friend, could do one. My friend won a bronze cup using only keepers. Really? That'd be sick. Uh, I've been playing that. Medieval 2 because I've been trying to get Third Age Total War to work, but I can't figure out how to do it through Steam, so I've been just playing regular... Medieval 2. I played a little Shogun 2 yesterday. I played some War Z today now that they've updated that a little bit. Uh, I played some FM, but it crashes too much for me to even play it really anymore. What have they they done to the War Z? Uh, They've added added local chat. Oh, wow. I know, right? Um, That's interesting. I know. And what else did they add? See, like, I haven't played in, like, three weeks. What I've been just, like, checking what, the patches. What were the bigger things you noticed? I don't know. I didn't run into anyone. <laughs> so, like, I didn't hear any chat. But evidently, like, if you go into cities, it's just people yelling at each other through chat. So I'm, that would be kind of annoying. But it's a game that as soon as other zombie games come out, I probably won't play anymore. Well, other in that genre, not just zombie games, of which there are thousands. Well, I mean, I'm waiting for, like, one to come out in June, and then there's other ones, so... Ah, so you have specific ones in mind. Care to share? Uh, why can't I think the, the name of it? Um, it's it's an Xbox Arcade game that's coming out in June. The Last of June. Us? 
No, The Last of Us is on PS3. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, what is it called? Oh, Undead Labs um, is the makers of it. I'll look it up. What have <laughs> yeah, you guys yeah. been playing this All week? All right, Marshall, what have you been playing this week? Oh, me? <laughs> well, I've been playing... I've, I've been going around the world. No, uh, I've, I've been playing a little bit of... Uh, in free time, I've been playing Napoleon Total War uh, a bit. And then, in uh, as far as my my channel goes, I've been doing as usual Fallout New Vegas. Actually, I haven't done as much as Fallout New Vegas, but I have done uh, uh, Bioshock Infinite quite a bit. Uh, I actually had a bit of a failed recording, like twenty, like just before we started this uh, podcast of uh, Far Cry Three Blood Dragon to put up on the Eight Byte channel, and um, that went terribly wrong. I. It's supposed to be a stealth game, and I was just walking around shooting everything I saw. Oh, my God. And then, uh, what's it? Can't think of the other game. Oh, Skyrim. and then, of course, I've been playing, uh, I played my, yeah, Sky, well, no, actually, I did Skyrim two weeks ago, so I, I've just been putting that up. And then I did Minecraft with Putty, and and I'm some my other dance friends dance. of mine. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. This is the guy I was talking about who wants wants us to go on this server. Hey, come to you out there. Damn it, Tony! Especially <laughs> doing the podcast, not bloody doing real life shit. Well, they're they're playing volleyball and they're being loud. How do you play volleyball podcast? in a house? <laughs> my cats are right <laughs> house. No, no, no. They're not asking where you are, Al. Yeah, where is Al? Where is Al? I thought he was He's a right here. Guest. Do you want him on the podcast? He's <laughs> yeah, get him on the get him on get him on Skype and tell him to come in. They want you on Skype. We want yeah. all three of you in the house. His girlfriend's there as well. Yes. <laughs> no, that sounded very <laughs> retarded. <laughs> oh, and yes. No. Wait, Tanner's girlfriend's there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, you guys are very very lucky that she can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, the game is called State of Decay. Ah, never heard of ah. it. Oh, Marshall has, I think. No, I've never heard of it. Oh. I'm just interested by names and words. <laughs> but yeah, they've only the only thing they've said for release date is they just made a post that just said June, and that was it. So, sometime in June. So, Dino, what's come out on Pirate Bay lately? Um, everything. <laughs> what have you been playing from Pirate Bay lately? Um, everything. <laughs> Which includes a certain new game, perhaps? Yes. Has Call of Duty Ghost came out on Pirate Bay yet? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I would know. I cannot divulge this information. <laughs> I may have already played the game. I may have already prestiged. I've already won the game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what have I been playing uh, this week? You got a legal copy of Metro imported, right? Of course. Yes. You were playing Team Fortress yesterday. I was, and earlier today. Mm, anything? In, oh, any new updates? Big ones since like a year ago when I last played. Probably like ten hats. Uh, when was? How? What's the biggest update since the pyro thing? More hats. That's it. They haven't added any big. Like, they just like just like to add hats. Of course, they like to add hats, but have they added any new weapons with it? Probably. You don't care, do you? <laughs> I just play, I just play to shoot people <laughs> in the face. <laughs> We'll be playing well, some Minecraft, Don't Starve, Hearts of Iron 2, Amnesia, Torchlight 2, Terraria, and Football Manager, and Gmod. There you go. And Minecraft, if I didn't say that. Yeah, you said that. Well, that's quite a that's quite an assembly of video games there. I just got insulted by, by Al. <laughs> Did he type in the chat? <laughs> he typed to me privately. <laughs> hey buddy, I just wanted to say that I thought the podcast had pretty low production value last week And I would have liked to see you put in a bit more effort as far as adding transitions and various drops goes oh, wow. You know when I, when I tried to edit the audio of that podcast and failed I said to myself, I'm not editing this podcast anymore, screw it <laughs> And that's when I ended you know, he really hurt you in your production value when he was eating cosmic brownies during it and you could hear him eating. <laughs> uh, cosmic brownies? That sounds like a, a drug. 
We will have Al back on the podcast as a guest one day, and we will have a higher production value. I promise you that. Everyone listening, that means you, Alice Smith. Um, you will get your word this week. I think it was a bit upset that you had no word. <laughs> I apologize for the um, inconvenience. <laughs> so what have I been playing this week? Nobody asked. Um, uh, you put up a Red Dead episode today, putty. I did, and that, that's been recorded for a while, but I have recorded three new episodes this week. Which include the end of the first part, and a, a certain Irishman touching some certain parts of a horse that I need to censor out. Is that actually in the game? That's that's in the game. Is yeah. it as bad as two men, one horse? I don't know. I've never seen that. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> two men, one horse. Yeah, the guy after it died. Oh, oh God. Ah. <laughs> uh. Other than that. Other than the Red Dead, I've been playing FM but not recording it because I've got 30 parts? How 30? Much of my Lord, man. I think I've got 30 parts over my FM binge that lasted a week that I still need to render. Uh, and I need to do some Photoshop stuff to make the stadium backgrounds and thumbnails and overlays and shit like that. So, need to be doing some work there. Um, I play FIFA. I, You know, wow. I've noticed you've been playing FIFA. I thought you weren't a FIFA player. I wasn't. Uh, FIFA's bullshit. What I try and do with FIFA is I spend half an hour trying to make the game as realistic as possible. By doing what? Uh, editing the settings, mixing things up a little bit, you know, trying to play in a certain way that makes it look realistic. And then I go off because I realize it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just ping pong soccer. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. It's arcade soccer, like... Why did I just call it soccer? It costs like £45. Pounds. Oh yeah, it's really expensive. I paid full price for mine as well, like six months after the game came out. Uh, but, yeah, I played that, and I also played... Well, sorry, I have been playing one more thing. I played Game Dev Tycoon. Oh god, that game. I thought that game was a, like a troll game. Uh, no, no only not. if you pirate it. If you pirate the game... Uh, a couple of years I didn't ago. get caught. <laughs> I can't like the different version. If you, if, if you pirate, <laughs> I just like how you're so open about that. Yes. If you pirate pi uh, Game Day of Tycoon about five or six years down, I think it is your, you your yeah your game studio goes bankrupt due to piracy. But it doesn't matter because you can't get anywhere anyway. <laughs> that game is like brutally difficult. Because it's all luck based. Well, it's not luck. It's algorithms, and you you can't. The game doesn't give you like a lot of, like what was why your game did well or why your game didn't do well. That's did you watch Total Biscuits like shit. WTF on it? Because if you did, you pretty much just took it from that. I didn't, but uh, I watched. That's a bit pretty of much it, what you said. Yeah, I know. I I I did watch a bit of it, but I didn't actually watch all of it. And I got that impression before he did that because I bought the game, like, two weeks ago. You should buy Terraria, because that's pretty good. I've got Terraria. I've had Terraria for like three years. Yeah, but he won't play it. I will play it. I've played on Red Knox's server, actually. I will How make a series. How many people bloody have it? I have not played Terraria. Is I, it any I have Terraria. Buy it. It's, too, yeah. it's like on offer on Steam at the moment. I bought mine for a pound ninety nine, and that was like a week after the game came out. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I got mine for. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's a great game. It's, uh, it's great in single player. I mean, they added like a a patch like that doubled the content and then they said screw it we're done um, there's another patch coming out they're they're patching it again yeah it's gonna be another patch they said they never would i'm glad there's another one coming great we should talk about That's that probably why it's on offer yeah terraria updated teas with pictures of a new biome and a penguin okay wait, wait, wait. we should talk about this topic then what do you guys think about a game company coming out and say listen this game is content complete it's a little adventure for us it didn't cost too much it didn't make too much we've patched it to the point where we think it is content complete and we'd like to move on to our next adventure. Do you think that's okay to stop supporting a game? No, EA does content. it after three months. Say again? I said EA stops <laughs> messing with their games after three months. Uh, after their release. Yeah. They, stop, they, they keep bloody bringing up two gigabyte but patches. Bethesda sticks Battle around games. for a solid like one to two years, depending on how many problems there are. Yeah. They spent like, what? They spent six months after Lonesome Road came out? Yeah, that's three. just the long... Yeah. Uh, and then they said... Yeah. And then they brought out a patch and they were like, this is the last patch. And I was like, sad face. You can get a four-pack of Terraria for you and three of yeah. your friends for ten bucks US. They've they've done that from the start. Yeah. It's always been pretty good. It's a great, it's a great game. You know, 
and I would do a series, Dino. We talked about it when we first started the roundtable. First, I uh, talked about what? Uh, doing a Terraria series. Did we? Yes, we did. <laughs> Nobody remembers okay. anything. Don't... We were just looking at games that we all play or all had. Yes. And Terraria was one of them that all, I think, seven of us had or six of us. Yeah, we were really excited about that, but nobody really started it. I can't remember that. Well, we maybe... should all play Team Fortress 2. Well, maybe when we add a new uh, pair of members to the round table, we'll, we'll start something like that. Ooh. We'll, do it, we'll do it with Minecraft as well. Well, there's already a Minecraft series going on a certain channel somewhere. <laughs> Can I join the server that you play mm-hmm. on? Somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can have the IP. We'll discuss that. Yeah, but if you run it off, you could, if you just run it off like your own internet, I know someone has a dedicated one. Yeah. So I'm going to check the price on Terraria right now on Steam. Just it's like quick. 66% off. I'll tell you what, I bet you're going to get, even if you play a single player, at least 40 hours out of it. Before Are you, you- sure? I've played <laughs> ten. I played it really? for twenty-one. Okay, I played it for over two hundred. So I Jesus I Christ, you played for its multiplayer. I, I I did two saves where I got to the end of the hard mode, and that yeah. was like two years ago. So yeah, it costs uh, three thirty-nine right now for one copy, which is pretty good. It's only been out for like a year. Yeah, it's been out for longer than that. A year or two. Two thousand ten, I want to say. Hey Marshall, you're on the Steam page. We'll check the release date. Uh, May sixteenth, two thousand eleven. Yeah, two years. There you go. Two Almost years. two years to the day. Wow, that was close. Almost. So it was a year. Yes. No, it was two years. That's a year and a no, bit. No, two years. It's two thousand. It's almost two years to the day. <laughs> yeah, but it's still a year and a lot. There you go. It's a year oh. and like twelve. <laughs> it's a year and eleven. No, months. I win. It's a year and a, a year and a lot. You lose. Oh, by the way, Putty, did you see who won our game of Civilization? I think we don't have enough votes to get a conclusive answer. Are you sure? Yeah. I think there's two votes. There's for one me vote on there now. There's one vote. Oh wait, oh, I, I went and liked it for myself. Yourself. There was one. Oh yeah, you you withdrew that though. Why did well, I Tanner, put, Tanner probably got his oh. girlfriend and Al to vote for him. No, there's only there was only one vote. And I think it was Al Smith, and then yeah. I I voted for myself he said, today. I've watched all the parts, and uh, I I come to the conclusion that uh, Putty was too gullible. And then I replied to him with a very long, thought-out message: My civilians liked building the nukes. <laughs> <laughs> Putty's already won. Uh, Go look at the video right now. How many votes have you given me? <laughs> Let's have a look. All right. Oh. Everyone right now who's watching this video, go have a look at the last episode of Civilization Five, because for one, it it's pretty very awesome. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> I watched it like two days ago, but I forgot to put my vote in, so I think I'm gonna do that right now. <coughs> yeah. Me. Tanner's already lost. I see three comments at the moment, but this page hasn't been reloaded yet. Uh, Paddy wins by Total War Fan, which is Dino's <laughs> real channel. Go check it out. There's like nothing on it. <laughs> I know. There used to be, but not anymore. See, someone withdrew a comment. I think that's Tanner voting for himself. No, I just voted for myself right there. Oh, Bang. there's five new comments now. What the hell? I just, I see, I don't even see that fifth comment. God, there's two votes for me by the same person. <laughs> it's really cool, actually, go off top subject, that, that Dungeon Hearts here that... Someone got uh, withheld. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's two now. Alvin did. Yes, yeah, that's a great topic, Dino. Did... Anyone else see that Alvin's Dungeon Hearts video was commented on by the creator of the game? I did not. I'm going to look at it right now. I thought that was actually really cool that that happened. That is really cool. When you, I looked at his channel. He does it with a lot of videos, and it's really, it's, it's a good development. Uh, what the uh, hell? That is really weird. What is? Okay, so all of the comments that were there Doubled. just re-commented all of them. Yeah. Like, all of them just, what is happening? I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. Who cares? Now I've got two votes. Uh, so it's Tanner. Yeah, guess. but no, it's still the same evenness because they all got recommented. Tanner, we should start in the f- future age with like one tank and we're not allowed to build any tanks and we just go to war with our two tanks and whoever has one tank left and the other is destroyed wins. We just need to do another playthrough when we do. The, that next one comes out. I tell out. you what, my, next... my exams finish in like two weeks' time, and after that, we can do another all night and we can do another series. Have they released the Brave Brave New World? I don't think so. I would have heard of that. Oh, release date, I don't know. Brave July New 9th. World. 
What's what is July that? 9th? That's really soon. We'll do a series on that for definite. Yeah. Uh, Brave New World, what is that? It's a new it, expansion like, pack for Civ 5. Yeah, like, with Civ oh, yeah. 5, it gets really boring later on in the game, so they just, they're not going to put any, I don't think they're going to add anything to the newer, like, part of the game but i think industrial era on they're Ooh. gonna add a bunch of stuff to it that's cool i didn't i don't get bored with Civ five at the later parts so if they're making it even better that's awesome i love that stuff uh because i didn't i, I never really get that far i've got like five or six saves over the course of like 10 years that that have gotten to the like modern era so when i see giant death robots and nukes and shit <laughs> you know see i'd never seen giant death robots until our playthrough so mm-hmm. They were pretty badass. I mean, we did have a line of them at uh, St. Petersburg. Yeah, it was it was pretty intense. <sighs> yeah, until the very end. <laughs> we kind of slowed down. Jimmy Ladham City was still a rock, though. Who have we lost? Dino, my God. Dino. We lost him? Oh my I God. have better internet? <gasps> Dino's usually the one that stays through it all. The one what? Br- Dino the, gone? The what? One, the one British to British connection on this call. <laughs> And he has the fastest internet out of any of us. My God, yeah, but and he's also closer to me. I bet something came at him and he just like randomly mashed the buttons and got out. It, like someone was, it was talking. It was through. Tanner's girlfriend, probably. <laughs> Went all the way. <laughs> oh God, do you know? Sorry, did Tanner's but... girlfriend attack you? Probably. She attacked me violently. <laughs> she must be quick. Was she fifty-four? She's, she's still sitting here. I'm still wondering what the hell we're seeing <laughs> to her. He's gone again. Pretty much. You know what game I'm really looking forward to? Like, the whole reason why I'm buying a new computer, hopefully sometime in the next couple months? Why? Rome 2. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> and I want to pre-order it, but I don't want to spend the $60 on it right now. I mean, you it's know still it's going to go down in price. Tell like... your girlfriend to stop. Because, <laughs> like, the Greek city-state thing is cool, but... 60 bucks. I'm maybe, you know, like a t- 10% off some sort of thing before would be nice. But that is, and they just came out uh, with like a, what, Tutenberg Forest trailer? Yeah, well, they came out with, if you pre order it, what's the expansion you get? It's like a. Uh, you get the Greek city states. And that's it. So you get like Sparta, Athens, and someone else. Which a honestly effect. really wasn't that fun to play as in the first one. Yeah. I mean,. I'm there for Rome, and Rome is my land in that game, so I don't really care about the Greek city-state. You don't get to say, for Sparta! Honestly, they're so poor and destitute in that game that if... I mean, you can play as them and win, but as far as AI goes, they always go, like, the worst. Well, and then... I Wait, Tanner, did you say Did you say that you... Have you played the original Rome total war? Uh shorts periods of time like i had one save with what one is the red faction julii uh where i like went up into france and then all the way up into england and then i stopped and then i usually only play as whatever faction starts I, happening. broody eyes is, is my favorite but skippy eye is the worst ai in the entire game they always completely derp out they just fail every time but anyway, you know, you, you'll you, viewers will only get that if they've played it enough. Speaking of little states that are hard to play with in strategy games, Tanner, Croatia. Um, I put two more videos up, so I saw one failed though. Get. What? Uh, on the channel it says one of them has failed to upload. Oh my gosh! To convert video. <laughs> <by>. <laughs> this Tanner is your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, she's messing she with work. everyone's internet today. Uh, well, I uploaded it like. A week, well, not a week ago, ago, but two days ago. All right, so we're gonna go in, not into the break, but into the like split segment, not split, but like the got the halfway point soon. So oh, to end, piss. end the half off, Dino. Oh, good. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. What's it yes. feel like? Yeah, it didn't really bother me that much. No, it wasn't bothering when the second Zaha goal hit the top of the net. Well, that's oh, I thought I thought we were talking about a girl. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were too. <laughs> we are. We're talking about the fine lady of Brighton. Well, I guess... Brighton doesn't have any ladies. <laughs> yeah, I, was yeah. say. I was gonna say, I thought Brighton was a dirty place. <laughs> the fine tranny of Brighton. Dirty place for dirty girls. <laughs> no. No, no. girls. <laughs> oh, God. We're too mean to Brighton sometimes. All of us as football fans. 
let's come together and recognize they play some of the sexiest football in the championship. So Liverpool, with Mini Rodgers at Brighton in the youth team. Oh, yes. Indeed. Uh, Mini this is in the youth So we were team. talking the other day that in order for Brighton to sneak into a second place, we need you need about one or two first team additions and about five backups to keep the squad thickened up. Pretty much, yeah, because think... Brian, Brian lacks depth to hell. Yes, yes. I, you could see that in the playoff game. Um, he doesn't have rotation either. Lua Lua, he just lacked that extra yard of pace yesterday. He needs to play some matches, is like you said. Yeah. Um, those one or two players you think you need to add to the first team, who are they going to be? Rough. Probably some extra attackers, because Brian and the back are amazing, but up front they're a bit poor. Anyone from the champ uh, the Premier League you could see dropping down? Well, Wigan. Franco Di Santo. No. No. <laughs> I don't mean like uh, teams that are going down. I mean like strikers that are in current Premier League teams. That we would... don't need you best guys strikers. can have Lowe's Victor and each should be if you want him. The low is good enough. Danny Welbeck. No nice shit. <laughs> well, Danny Welbeck might be. I don't know. You know, honestly, Danny Welbeck is like David Moyes' type of striker. Absolutely no goal scoring ability, but just runs. Good. Throw him on the pitch. He's black as well, so there you go. <laughs> Adds <Yeah>. to it. <laughs> the way you said that. It's just like you didn't explain yourself first, you just came out and you stopped after the first bit of it. You just went, Oh he's black as well. Pause. He's black, he's already done it. He could be in the first team. Cause he's black. I'm nodding my head and I... Well, discussed side to side, up and down. It's up and down, but I don't know what emotion I'm feeling here. <laughs> Marshall, you're going to interrupt with something. I want to hear it. <laughs> well, okay, I was just going to add in since we're talking about football. Um, the I I I'm not super obviously into it. Um, well, you support the... Wigan now, don't you? No, no. Huh. What? No, I didn't say who I support. No, it's just say, last that. week you said. Last week I you said, said you were, I'm said I have to choose. Yeah, I'm, and I told you to watch the FA Cup final and to support Wigan. I could not find that video. I I watched some random video, uh, like Hell? of of a long, um, of a of a game on on ESPN. Still don't know what teams I was watching, um, because <laughs> I am very bad at. Um, but I'm trying to get into it. I'm slowly getting there. I mean, I know the thing is, I know more of the rules and how it's played than other sports because I've played it for years. But yeah, I'm, I, hopefully, I'll get more into watching it. But that that was just my little piece that that eventually I'm, I, I plan on picking a team to support. I just don't know who yet. You'll support Crawley Town or Brighton. Fuck Liverpool and Everton. You will support Liverpool, and you will have the a soft... The day you support Palace is the day I kill you. You will, you will support Liverpool, and you will have a soft spot for Everton. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick some random team that's going to piss all of you off, because I know nothing about the rivalries. So rap that Millwall. So you, you, the Millwall. Only, you wouldn't be able to pick a team, because the only other team I hate is Liverpool. Do you really hate us? Because I don't hate you. I hate, I hate everything Chelsea. that is about Liverpool. See, I, I, maybe it's because we've been on top for so long that we kind of have a bit of, oh, yeah, look look how good course, they're doing. Yeah. You know, that I feel proud when you guys finish in sixth. It's like the Yankees. Bastard. I hate Chelsea and Palace. Which reminds me, one thing. Did you guys see Henri's goal last week? Did I also, see like, it? Of course I saw it. I was the one who linked you the stream. Like, oh, God, I'll re scored over a kick. I know. I, I, like, you linked me the stream, then you stopped watching, and it was at the end of the podcast, and I was just like, oh, my God. I might be going to the game in Kansas City. New York yeah, Rebels are sporting nice. KC July 3rd. I've got tickets to the Steven Gerrard testimonial match. I have tickets to, oh, wait, Brian aren't in the playoffs anymore. <laughs> I was going to go watch him at Wembley. Come, they got to, come to the Steven Gerrard testimonial match and sit in the cop with me. I want to go. I want to go watch the Champions League final. If that's not sold out. Oh yeah, I, I was thinking of booking tickets for that. Next time it's at the Millennium. <laughs> oh god, which will be never. Oh, they should host the Champions League at the Millennium. How much does it hold? Eh, ninety thousand. Mm, that's that's Wembley. Yeah. If fee, maybe it's eighty. I'll check. Uh, and I'll be Wembley the. Wembley is ninety. Yeah, hopefully it's 90. I think it's about the same size. I mean, 
Mm. Say the Amex has been chosen to hold a game for the Rugby World Cup or two actually. Mm. All of the South Africans for both of their matches. Yeah, Puddy, are you still thinking about getting the franchise hockey manager? I'm still thinking about it. It does look does a lot. It cost like a lot of money. It's not it's too like, much. It's like 21 quid. Yeah. I could, I could probably do much. that. Which is probably like 25 bucks. 74,500. Yeah, but who would want to go to Wales to see a game? Who would want to go to, um, let me think of a random place where they've hosted it recently. Who'd want to go to Millwall and watch a game? Who'd want to go to... No, never mind. I was about to say Rome. Uh, Rome's, Rome's a nice place. <laughs> I think Rome would work. Who would want to go to Istanbul? Yeah, say... Before 2005. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it expanded the game eastward. Yeah? No. That's how they always look at it here in the States. It's like, oh yeah, we'll build a team over there. Because then more people will like soccer over there. Exactly. So that's why we should host the Champions League final at. No okay, I'm not asking for the Champions League final. I'll take a UEFA Super Cup. I'll take a Europa League. Heck, I'll take a FIFA World uh, World Club Cup. <laughs> Actually, Which, speaking that. of that, yeah, go on. Is Chelsea considered the European champions? Or are they the little brother to the European champions? Well, now they're the European champions. Like indisputable. Well, they still are, but like yeah. after no. you know Bayern wins. No, they're like the little European champions. Okay, because like, ne ne never mind. They won't be like winning happy. the Europa League is like winning the League Cup. See, that's kind of how I saw it. But like, uh, ESPN here and then EA Sports both tweeted like, and Chelsea is now the champions of Europe. Well, they it's are. Like, but, yeah. It's like no, kill yourself. Yeah, it's you like, I fucking know. hate Chelsea and all their you, fans. Yeah, I hate them too, but... They're Belen fans. You've still got to look at it, like, Benfica was in that tournament. Inter Milan was in that tournament. Ajax Benfica were tournament. really unlucky to lose. Yeah, they were. They were. But they attacked way They had the hard. whole... I watched the first half, and it was just like, how have they not scored? Spurs yet? were in that tournament. Wigan will be in that tournament yes, next year. Spurs really blew that one, didn't they? Wigan I hope be... Wigan win it. Now that they're relegated, no, I don't know. Oh, hate imagine... How awesome that would be! Wigan versus Brighton next year. Got to go watch that. Oh, it's got to no. It's got to be Wigan versus Real Madrid in the Europa League they, final. They they have to get through qualifiers, do they not? They no, don't get an automatic. No, to the they groups, won. Right? They won the FA Cup, so they do go right into. So the they groups. get the groups. Yes. You know what's well, impressive to me yeah. is it's the amount of stuff there is from one week to the next. To update on as far as football, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, there's always it's, a lot of competitions and games and. I mean, you got like the big stuff, like the Premier League on the weekends, and then you got European and Championship stuff as the week goes on. News, Mourinho. You always, you always know, you you, you always get something new from Mourinho every week. Mancini. <laughs> oh, I'm so gutted. I told you. I love I him told so much. No, I believed you. I was just really gutted. I I love him. I love him. I'll have him at Liverpool. Screw. I would. I will let the only person that I will allow the Americans to sack uh, Brendan Rodgers for is Roberto Mancini. He's not. He's not the greatest manager in the world. I love him so much. You will love him. I love him. I want him to come and wear Liverpool scarf in the cup. And all their little neck gaiter things that they wear. Brendan Rodgers should go manage Brighton because then he'll be with his son, <laughs> like Paul Ince. <laughs> Just like that. Except that's not going to happen for too long because we're going to pay forty-five point five million for him in a couple of weeks' time. Is he the next Jordan Henderson or is he the next Stuart Downing? I can't really figure out. Well, do you mean like yeah. Jordan Henderson is a success and Stuart Downing is a quiet? No, they're both absolute shit, and you paid twenty million for each of them. Hey, Henderson's had a really good season. Oh, bull. Oh, come on. <laughs> Henderson's had a really good season. Which which player had a better season? Kevin Morales or Jordan Henderson? I've watched hey. I've watched 54 Liverpool games and two Everton games. I can't answer that question. <laughs> I can tell you he was had a better I'll season. I'll answer that question for you. He was half the price. I can t I can tell you what a bet. He did better this year. I can tell you what a better season between Jordan Henderson and <laughs> Lucas or Joe Allen. Lucas Leva. Yeah, and or Joe Allen who's had an absolutely appalling season. 
Would you and Joe Allen him? will always complete every single pass he makes. So really? that's something good. I don't know. He's that's misplaced me every pass about. I've ever seen him. I have not seen him complete a pass this year. He gets the ball and I get scared. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. I'd rather him play as a striker. It's a lot like when Josie Altador gets the ball. Oh, you, you always bash on Josie Altador. He's doing well. Josie Altador is absolute shit. <laughs> Jimmy Adam, what a beast. <laughs> He's having a look. Tyler's girlfriend is amused. She is Adams. like punching me. It's I have bruises. Does she all like Josie house. Altador? No, she hates Josie Altador. Does she like Jamil Adam? No. <laughs> she does. There's one thing in life that Mel likes, and it is Muse. Muse. That's the only thing. And on that note, let's get to our uh, our guests. Game Does she like Brighton and Hove Albion? Uh, she likes Timoth, the small town of Timoth. The fuck is that? I don't know. Where's Where's Muse from? Yeah. They're from Timoth. What the hell's that? I don't know. Look it up. You're there. It's your it's country. Probably not even pronouncing it right. It's like how you probably pronounce like not. East Lay, like that. It's East Lay. Um, no, it's East Lay. Like Tombridge. It's like Tombridge. Tombridge. Pronounce Leicester. Tombridge. Tombridge is like ten minutes from it. No, it's not. That's a lot. What was the team like... Watford beat in the playoffs, Tana? Leicester. See, you can say Leicester, but all the people in the US would call them Leicester. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Leicester. That's terrible. Uh, okay. Do you know? Well, it's how it's spelled. Do you know? We... <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, it's not? I have no idea. Yes, it is. It's L E I C E S T E R. There's no. There's no H. There's no H. <laughs> Leicester, then. I'll say it without the H. That's better. That, that match was bullshit. It was like they had a penalty oh, yeah. and they fucked it up. That was so awesome. I, I was like watching it. Manuel Almunia, Premier League legend. Absolute beast. Mm -hmm. I found out that I've been pronouncing the capital of Scotland wrong my entire life. Eh. Edinburgh. Glasgow. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, Glasgow. I've been pronouncing it Edinburgh. Oh crap! I just uh, I just really I just revealed my lack of knowledge on the podcast. I just said Glasgow. I thought you did. Yeah, I no, I, that's yeah. that's really embarrassing. But um, <laughs> it's where yeah. Rangers and Celtic are. That's who. That's all that matters. Yeah, that means it's the capital. But obviously, it's like Manchester is the capital of England, and um, Benfica. No, Porto is the probably is the <laughs> Benfica capital. is the capital of Port. Portugal. Yes. No, uh, Barcelona is the capital of uh, Spain. <laughs> Marseille is the capital of France. No, Paris, because they won it this year. Oh, we're talking in that... Okay, yeah, <laughs> see, I have no idea. I thought we were just naming random cities. No, we, we were naming the best football cities and imagining they were the capitals. Well. Alright, Dino, do you have your questions ready? That's what I've been trying to get to for the last ten minutes. <laughs> well, you guys hey. keep distracting me. Dino, are you ready? I'm ready. I don't have a stopwatch, crap. What's the record? Like seven? Six. Our last hey, week. Al, how many did you get last week? Six. He's got the world record. He says he's Okay, got wait. Seven, explain the rules he... just so I'm refreshed. On okay, I'll explain. You just have to choose got, either one. You've got 60 questions, and you've got... So you have 60 seconds. questions sorry, to answer sorry. in one second. <laughs> <laughs> you've got 60 seconds to answer as many awkward questions as you can, and then we go back afterwards, and you have to explain them. Okay, so I quickly go through them, and then afterwards we explain them. Yes. And you guys are gonna, because I might not remember exactly what I said. And you, you need to, yeah, and you need to try and get, uh, get as many done in those sixty seconds, and then you've got to come up with the most interesting answers afterwards. Okay, are you guys gonna keep track of what I say? No, but we're gonna keep track of the questions. So you'll be able to you, remember. Yeah, because I. Can oh yeah, that. I remember. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> do you know? Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh no, God, don't start. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I was just overacting. Like Tanner's having incredible sex. <laughs> the <laughs> it's right in front of me, but that might be cheating since I'm the dude. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Would you rather have no hands or have a fat, naked guy stalking you at all times? Oh, uh, fat, naked guy. <laughs> okay. Would you rather attempt to survive a computer uprising, Terminator, or attempt to survive a zombie outbreak, Dawn of the Dead? Um, zombies, next. Would you rather play a game of Quidditch or take a field trip with Miss F Frizzle? Um, Quidditch, <laughs> next. Probably quicker. Would you rather be male or female? Uh, female, next. <laughs> Would you rather have to wear a full 
body red leotard on your wedding day or have the person you are marrying that day wear the full body red leotard? <laughs> um, I don't even know what that is. It's the person I'm marrying next. Would you rather read the book or see the film? Uh, see the film. You just got it in on time. Six. You're tied. Oh, I was just about to start the next one. You're tied for, uh, no. for top. We'll have to have Al on and the they can have a standoff you? questions. What do you say? Do you no, know? We're going to do the flip the table. I was just about to do another one. Go back go back through the questions and we'll have more of a discussion on them. So which was the first one? The first one. Oh, would you rather have no hands or have a fat nose? <laughs> Why did you go Honestly, the... okay, okay, this <laughs> one is actually easier for me to explain than some of the other ones. Yeah, but you can um, just kill the I can't wait guy. for the I'd rather to be female speech. Yeah, just... I'm not really sure what was going on there, but I'll get to that and I'll explain it somehow. Okay, so uh, you use hands for quite a few things, including everything that I do. So... Um, but you could, you, by the time you have fat naked guy stalking you, that's like so far in the future, you'd have prosthetics. It's, it's only one that. guy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, a fat naked guy stalking me, that's sort of flattering in a way. If he's taking the time out of his day to be dedicated to creeping on me. You can make, I mean, you can sure, make, like, why some not? Money out of that. You could be How like, the hell has he not been arrested? <laughs> you could be like, come. I have no idea. Maybe he's a policeman, but. <laughs> Wait, you could come, you could make some money out of that. You could go up on the stage and go, come, come all. Pay me one quid and I'll make a fat, fat man appear. <laughs> a fat naked Oh, God, there he is. I don't think anyone will request, <laughs> will, will pay for that. <laughs> but oh, it's God. magic, you know. So the next question was, what was it? What was it? That's not it. That's one of the ones later on. You failed. What the fuck? I thought you had this figured out. I did. This is, Dude, this is why we write you're them down. losing it. Uh, what was the next question? It was like, watch Quidditch or something. Oh, no, watch that was the, that was I the didn't know one. what the other person was. Yeah. It was something to do with the red leotard as well. That was like the last one. No, that was like the last one, dude. Why don't we go through the ones that you found most most interesting then, guys? I want to hear about the female one. Would yeah. you rather be male or female? You oh, yeah, female. no, it was Dawn of the Dead or um, oh, yeah. Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, that's a good one, actually. Okay, this one's good. Um, I I believe one of them was computers. Yeah. Like, uh, like robots, like Terminator. T Terminators. Yeah, um, honestly, it's a lot easier to kill zombies than Terminators. I mean... But if you lose to I mean, the zombies... You... You've lost your mind. You... If you lose to the Terminators, you become a super awesome robot. Yes, but in the end of the day, you've lost your mind in both scenarios. Terminators are forced to yeah. think a certain way. I was thinking that too, but I, I think it depends. If you had a really nice And not scientist... only that, but you have a much higher chance of survival in a zombie apocalypse if you're smart and you don't have dumbass, uh, you know, just... Typical TV groups with you, and you who were, are like, and you were let's like, let's 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 bick let's bicker and end up shooting ourselves and you know it's uh have you uh, I, 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 uh, if you work with the Terminators like that's survival. How many of you guys have seen The Walking Dead? Everyone except mm -hmm. me. I have. That is like the epitome of bad zombie decisions in that movie. Just so many bad decisions. It's not as bad on. as Call of Duty Zombies. Oh hey, buddy. <laughs> yes. Um, never mind. You're gonna bring up how I've been wanting you to do that for a couple of weeks, right? But then every time I'm like, hey, yeah, we should do that, you go, nah, no, nah, I don't know. Really I had one afternoon it. where I was off school and I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then you're like, nah, I'm working. And I was like, all right, we'll do it tomorrow. And then you never te um, Skype me. So what's the next one? It was <laughs> Quidditch or fit something. Quidditch or the day a field trip with Mrs. Fizzle or whatever. How do you? How do you? Yeah, I have no idea who Mrs. Fizzle is. I'll Neither look. I. I better not. I'll look I better not Google Wait, search this. You made the question. How do you not no, know? No, it's on the site. It's on a website. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um, She's apparently a character off a, a a thing called a magic school bus. Magic school bus. Magic school bus. Oh, damn I would it. honestly, totally now that I know who it is, that. I would go back and take the field trip. Yes, I would definitely go back on the field trip. What the hell? I wish. See, I can't remember old names like that. There's a magic. Quidditch sucks. There's a. Have you... There's a magic school bus wiki. 
Is there really? <laughs> magic school bus. Wait, have either of you seen the magic... Um, uh, Tanner, I know you have. Have either of you seen the magic school bus? Nope. By the sounds of things, it was a USA production. It's a magical educational show on the human body and other small things. <laughs> Where the, they get in a bus and it shrinks down and then they get into like the bloodstream and it was very educational. Wow. And funny. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if you're, well, I, I could probably watch it now and still be entertained. It was a good show. But I love this. The only show I liked more than that is Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I, oh my God. Love Didn't that show. That. It was one of my saddest days of my life when he died. You know, they had to hang up the sweater on the Spoilers. wall, and it was just done. Dude, I remember, I remember the episode. Uh oh. I remember the episode oh. where they, um, where they went around and went, where, um, they showed like the background. And the background. Uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. I'm trying to think of what episode that was because I'm trying to think it was the last one, but I don't think any of you guys know that. No. Paddy, what good TV shows do we have over here that they probably didn't have? You have there? Sherlock. Uh, kid shows. Kid shows. Uh, uh, we had Blue's Clues. That was pretty donish. What did they do those? That was, that was an American production. Yeah. There's something over here as well. Wait, wait. Timothy Goes to School. <sighs> Never watched that. <laughs> New tonight. I'm just thinking of things I saw on Sky when I had it. Thomas the Tank Engine. They had that, I'm sure. Had it. Uh, um, coming of Age. Even though tweenies. So yeah, definitely Magic School Bus though versus versus. Honey, what about the tw what about the tweenies? Never watched it. Never watched the tweenies. No. How? I didn't. I didn't watch that much TV. I'll be honest. Teletubbies. Uh, I've seen that, but I'm sure they had that as well. Do you yeah. have these fat terrorists walk around on your screen with funny things on their head and a fucking <laughs> Hoover that looks like a dog? One of them's called, called Nunu. No -No. <laughs> and they had an episode with Jimmy Savile. <laughs> And the day after the charges came out, they showed that episode. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that. What else? Was what was it? the next question? It was something like... Um, red, was it the red leotard one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Would you rather, that that would you rather get married in a red leotard or get married to I somebody in a red I thought female was the third one. We'll go with this one. Oh, yeah, yeah it would be male or female. female. Yeah, okay, go on then. Male or female. Everyone okay. answer. Um, okay, I picked female, and now I'm not really sure, because there are honestly a lot of trade-offs. I was going to say female, because if you, if you compare, I, I mean, it, I'd much rather have a female body than I'm a guy's Can body. Can I put out a warning here? This may, because we have Dino on here, get eventually quite sexist, so if you're offended you rather be a, by be that, please turn off now. Go on, Marshall. <laughs> anyway... Um, I'd much rather have a girl's body than a guy's body for just because it's you know overall it's a it's a better quality look now there are things like periods and and nasty you know giving birth and all that which is of STDs. course STDs. Well, okay, we have to deal with STDs too. STDs hey. are around the barrel of na nakedness but I was I, I I so yeah. Now that I think about it, there are trade offs both sides. I don't mind being a dude. Obviously, that wasn't meant to be like a gay. I want to change my sex comment. I'm a woman <laughs> and a man's body. Um, but I just I don't know. It was it was a random quick reaction. So I guess I've got to re re uh, re look at my priorities if that's just what came to mind. Um. <laughs> Quite obviously. Do you know? But yeah. Uh, That's the best explanation I can get. I really want to know Dino's opinion on this. Dino, would you rather be a male or a female? Male. Explain. <laughs> Dominant. <laughs> <laughs> One word. And that's all the sexist you're getting. <laughs> Tanner. Yes. Male or female? Male. Think of society-wise. <laughs> Tanner's girlfriend. She is literally trying to beat me up right now. I play the opposite role in this relationship. Tanner, just smack her in the face. <laughs> just like, turn around and be like, get on the floor. <laughs> Make me a set. It's alright, you would if she insulted Fellini in any way, shape, or form. Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, she loves his ass, afro. Not ass. I didn't say ass, I said afro. <laughs> I bet she loves his ass too. Tell, tell her she, he shaved his afro. <laughs> oh, good. It doesn't matter. He'll be gone to Juventus anyway. No, we'll be going to United. I like how you pronounce. He won't be going to United. Moyes won't buy from Everton. I like how 
how deeply you pronounce the uh, the H in that. That was awesome. The what? In Juventus. The Juventus? I like that. <laughs> Juventus. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of how I say things. The magic oh, lady fuck. has a Hoover. <laughs> uh, what a Hoover? What, do you so, want to... what about Ju- Jose Mourinho? Just... <laughs> All right, last question. Red leotard. No, it's not the last one. But go on. Okay, the red leotard. Um, I'd yeah. rather have it on the person I'm marrying because I would not look good in a red leotard. See, I'd, ra- Dad is- I'd rather wear it because I think in my wedding, it's more special to the person I'm marrying than it is to me. You probably think, oh, red, Liverpool, yes. No, no. <laughs> I just think weddings are less special for my type of people than the people we marry. <laughs> Barbaric Welsh. <laughs> that wasn't where I was going. Thanks for the racism. We were lacking that in this podcast. <laughs> oh, no, we had the black people comment earlier. That's, that's fine. <laughs> It wasn't racist. It though. wasn't racist, but it's race. It, it was. It was a reference to race. No, it wasn't that bad. It was like saying that they're fast. <laughs> okay, it wasn't racist. It was stereotypical. Exactly. I actually own a black leotard, but it's like it's made out of wool and it's meant to be worn like while you ski. So. <laughs> oh, did you get? It's it? actually really comfortable. So the Mex- are you going to marry your girlfriend? The Mexicans then? knitted it for you. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually... No, it might have been Andy. Costa Ricans. Did you get it from the outdoor ski show? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> that you work at? In Mexico City. Yes. yes. Underneath. Now, Mexico. I've got... I've, um, I have um. I have to leave in like five minutes. So, Damn it, you... Um, I thought you said you could do 11 in an hour. That would be nine minutes. Well, I apparently I can't. See, now, the subscribers, you're going to have to blame Marshall for not getting the full hour. It's only going to be 50, <laughs> 57 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're staying here for five more minutes. Yep, uh, five more minutes. All right, then. Last question. We had one little one at the end. It was, uh, what was it? It was, um, let's have a look. Let's go back. That wasn't there either. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> <Stop> that. <laughs> Tana. What? All I heard was like, oh. Like, All I heard was, oh, God. <laughs> she just touched my armpit and it's all sweaty. Well. Anyway. I can't remember what the last question was. That's like um, typical memory things. You can't remember what the first or the last one is, but you can like remember the middle. You remember the most interesting three out of ones. four. Yeah. I forget. It was. Hannah, tell your uh, girlfriend to speak up. Can I ask her some of the questions? <laughs> no, how she's could you too have not shy. Kept track of this. Get her on the podcast. I don't. We really could, Putty. Stop the podcast. Go back and listen to the question part and come back. <laughs> we could. Or we could tone down the show next week and have her on. That was She's really unrelated, but... <laughs> Do laundry the excuse. What? What'd you say, Dino? Said, she, Tana said she's doing laundry. I was like, oh, the excuse. <laughs> oh, yes. The usual excuse. That's what you said to Al on the Civ 5 series. She always doing laundry. What could use her own bloody house? Uh, her house, you have to pay to do laundry, and here you don't. <laughs> you have to pay to do laundry in the house? <laughs> you know what we should do? We should just have a podcast with Tanner, Al, and his girlfriend. That's it. Three-man podcast. Wouldn't that just be an awesome podcast? We could do it on a snowball mic. It'd be so cute. I, wait, do three people in here have snowball mics? No, I don't have one. Oh. I'm going to get one, though, because oh. we're doing a... We're going to drunk do a Star Wars Battlefront playthrough, I think, at one point. We need to do the next Civ 5 series drunk. I Honestly, Putty, I was drunk by the end of that Civ 5 series. I That's was... why you thought you would won. <laughs> I, no, I really did win. Al, would you go comment on that video and say Tanner wins? No. Al, I'll let you back on the podcast. I'll turn up the production quality. Putty says he'll if you vote for him he'll turn up the production quality on the podcast. Fuck would I do 
<laughs> could you hear him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> what did he say? Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> I don't know. Why do a podcast and then not insert a podcast? <laughs> Uh, okay, wait a minute. We got two minutes left. Marshall, pimp out your channel. Pimp it out. Yeah, go on. Okay. What? Wait, what was the last thing you said? I said yeah, go on. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I'm still trying it. That that whole five last five minutes. I'm trying to like. I'm trying to find what think of what the last question is, but it totally flew past my head. Um, I probably should have thought about the answering of them, but whatever. Um. So, my, uh, yeah, guys, uh, my, my name's Marshall, as they've said a billion times, uh, and uh, my channel is the Event Horizon X. Um, sh- I It'll think the there'll be a link in the video yeah. description, yes. If I remember um, this time. We, Hello with Ellis Smith's channel. We are currently yeah. doing a Fallout New Vegas that's 16 parts in, a Bioshock Infinite that's six parts in. We do Battlefield 3 videos rarely, but, you know, that's, that's there. And uh, Minecraft... We just started a Minecraft co-op series and a Skyrim series. Though those are both only one part in, and I have a con- consistent upload <laughs> schedule, uh, twice a week for everything except Bioshock, and they're all usually about 30, 30 minute videos. Minecraft's only I once a week. I try to have some fun. What? Minecraft only once a week. Yes, yes. I said twice. Yeah, except Minecraft. That's that's a, on Monday. Minecraft Monday, but and then uh, just a little, and then I will. Well, I won't talk about the 8-byte stuff, because that hasn't even started yet. And then, um, Putty, uh, you are going to be putting up the Minecraft things as well? Yeah, I'll talk about that in my little section. Can I play on your server and build up a house? Anyway, um, so yeah. <laughs> Snubbed. <laughs> I, would, um, I would appreciate if you'd come on and, and check it out. And, uh, yeah, that's that's my little pimping of my channel. I'll see you Saturday for more Minecraft. More mo Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, that... We've already got quite a few parts. Well, no. No, we need more. You... Yeah, well, no, no. I meant just already in reserves we have quite a few, but we're going to keep recording until the series is I done. I don't know if you're comfortable with my amount of episodes yet. <laughs> what? Can I... I don't... Can I play? Answer, Dino. Go on. What? Answer who? Do you know? I, I didn't even hear his question. Server. He, he uh, wants to join the, the series. Uh, um, not the series, I'd just be like a background person, just like play and just build up other shit. Um, I, 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 I suppose so, yeah. I mean, that, 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 that could work. That, that could work. We have, we, at one part we had a random friend of mine, Will, come on, and he didn't really talk at all, so he was just basically there, you know, trying to keep me from getting a pet cat. He, God damn it. That's in my bonus um, episode. He is yeah. the, he wins the award for most in, uh, unenthusiastic <laughs> person in the world. Yes. Mo definitely. I thought Jacob would uh, win it, but he hands down. And um actually for the episode for the bonus episode as he called it, uh that he got, I didn't get it. For some reason I lost that recording, so I'm gonna put up a little like announcement video to go to like that video on his channel specifically but i will have you linked in all the videos anyway but uh and then um for that part it is very very racist um this is probably the most racist thing i've ever done on youtube or really spoken of in a long time one racist episode <laughs> two racist episodes three <laughs> racist episodes um let's think we uh, yeah, I, we we basically uh, all took on an accent, and I'm not gonna say who did what, but we just did it for the whole episode, different accents, and uh, yeah, that that's that's all I'm gonna say about my channel. Just go check it out, and yeah. And we kept you here for almost the full hour, 59. You're late. Oh. Except to be fair, you'll probably ban me within like a day because all I play Minecraft for is griefing, unless it's something serious. You probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it won't grief your shit. Okay. <laughs> well, thank Wait, we'll get we'll get banned. It's oh, it's our server. No, banned. I'll get banned. Oh, you'll ban well. me. All right, Dino, what's going up on the round table from you this week? Um, <laughs> don't know yet. I need to tell a new series. I can't be bothered with Fallout anymore. Tanner, what's going on on your end? Uh, obviously. Anyway, I still goodbye, have guys. The... See you, Marshall. See ya. 
I have the Croatia stuff going up, hopefully. What about on your channel? The Croatia trend. On my channel? Yeah. Let's see. I have a strict schedule of Victoria on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Chinese save. Wednesdays is FM if I get this next uh, episode of San Marino uploaded that the game crashed at the end of it and I just didn't bother to re-record it. It's Wednesdays today. One hour. Today's, oh shit, today is Wednesday. Um, well, today is Sunday, but yeah. Oh, okay. I've already but, the fourth one. Uh, yeah, so FM didn't go up today. Um, Wednesday. Friday is the new series, the 50 Goals Challenge that we were talking about earlier. Last week it was Marco Arnadic. This week it is Philippe Caicedo. Next week it's Pepe Reina. No, next week it's Connor Casey. I thought you were going to say, you gonna say Connor Cody then. So that very no. Do it with a goalkeeper. Do, do, it, do it with Matt Tubbs. <laughs> no. Is that it, Tanner, or have you got more series going on? Uh, no, that's it. What, what was your FM series again? It's the San Marino Challenge. Ah, yes. Did you finish Rangers? Uh, it's on hold. Like a permanent sort of hold. <laughs> like, I still have the save, but it, like, I really can't play FM for an extended period of time anymore because it just crashes after, like, a week each time, and, and then I have to go back and reload everything, and it's just, like, I can't be bothered 20, to play 20, this game. 26, I'm going strong. Yeah. <laughs> FM 12 for the win. Yes. So, anyway, on my channel, thank you for leading me into that. Uh, yes, no problem. On Mondays and Fridays, it's Football Match 2012 with currently, it's still Hamburg, I want to say. No spoilers, please, anyone. <laughs> uh, on Wednesdays, it's Red Dead Redemption. And on <gasps> Saturdays and Sundays, it's Minecraft, which I'm uploading in 15-minute parts. Marshall uploads in 30-minute parts. I upload on Saturday. 15-minute parts? Yes. I, up- I don't... I, I... I could not watch a 15 minute video. It just bores me. Short or long? Long. Really? That's the shortest yeah, video that's going up on my channel this week. 50 minutes. 15. Oh, 15. I thought you said 50. No. No. Uh, 15 minute parts. I upload on the Saturday and the Sunday 15 minute parts. Marshall uploads both those parts in the 30 minute videos on the Wednesday. Has he just walked away from his computer because he's still there in the call? I think he. I don't know. He just walked away from his PC. On the round table, I think I've got the Patalbot series, which is failing, so it's probably not going to be lasting too much longer. Uh, well, it'll probably last, it'll just slow down. I'm probably going on hiatus. I've kind of done a save with you guys, only <clears throat> it's I'm spectated to see how you go, other than... The Civ 5 series is done. Go vote for me. Um, and... That's it. No podcast. Next week. I'll see you guys next week for the next podcast, as long as none of us die. <laughs>